take a moment of silence so each of us can reflect on our own faith <coughs> and our work here today. Stand with me, and we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, roll call this evening. All members present except Mr. Zolman. He and his wife had a new baby boy today, so I think that's a good excuse for missing the meeting tonight. Uh, Gentry Allen Zolman, seven pounds, six ounces, and 20 and a half inches long. So born this morning, so we want to congratulate Aaron and his wife. So, uh, Mr. Conley, superintendent, and Jessica McFarland, uh, recording secretary. So move on to upcoming board meetings. June 24th. Will be a CPF workshop at the administration office at 6 p.m. July 11th will be a public work session at the administration office at 6 p.m. July 15th will be a, another regular meeting in Mentone at 6 p.m. August 15th will be a public work session at the admin office at 6 p.m. August 19th will be another regular meeting in Mentone at 6 p.m. September 12th will be a public work session at the administration office at 6. And September 16th will be a regular meeting at Mentone. Move on to Spotlight on the Valley. Welcome to the introduction of new employees. Mr. Kraska, you've got some folks to introduce. Absolutely. It's my uh, great honor to introduce the, the new staff members here at Tiffany Valley High School. Uh, we'll start to my right here. Actually, get out here. <laughs> um, so uh, this is Mrs. Anna Yates. She's gonna. Um, she's been you know applied to be an instructional assistant at the high school. We're really excited to have her. Um, she has spent a lot of time. Uh, you know, it's like in the, in the corporate world, in the, in the factory, and really is. Is interested in coming and working with kids. Uh, she says a, pa a real passion of hers, and uh, has been really involved with the athletic boosters. Um, was out at the golf outing on Saturday and really helping out. So she's excited to be a part of the Valley family. You didn't help his golf swing, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's Did impossible. Not. I didn't want him to short it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I announced it was a team to beat. That's what I drove away to, you know, but uh, it was obviously a lie. Um, so then to her right is uh, Brittany Watson. I'd like to introduce her as the new special education teacher at the high school. Um, she uh, comes from a wealth of experiences uh, related to that. Um, started off studying education in college at, at Ball State, is that right? IPFW. IPFW. Okay, IPFW. And she um, you know, then studied psychology and uh, started working at IPFW. Uh, most recent experience was at the Bowen Center. She was our um, skills coach leader for the whole corporation. And that's really how we got to know Brittany. And we said, we need her here now. And she's uh, done an awesome job in that role. It's going to do that. That's going to transition really well to special education, and she's going to do a nice job there. Uh, and then this guy here is uh, Jake Everett. I'd like to introduce to him uh, our new assistant principal at high school. Um, Jake uh, is a local guy. Went to, uh, was lived in Bourbon, went to Triton High School. One thing he won't uh, tell people publicly a lot. He wants to keep this. He was uh, played basketball, was really successful, and was the Truster Award winner um, for uh, the state championship when the Triton won the state championship. So. Uh, we know we're getting a guy of high character, and uh, he uh, was recently at Manchester Schools um, and uh, has done, was the jack of all trades there, the, taught history for a few years, and then was a uh, teacher on assignment doing uh, digital learning coach, uh, instructional coach, and uh, school test coordinator. So he's got a wealth of experiences, and it's going to be phenomenal kids. We're really excited to have him. So that's the team we've got. All right. That's great. Well, welcome. Thank you. Having you. We'll move on to uh, recognizing the following retirees. Uh, Alyssa Trapiti is not here this evening, but she did send some information. Uh, Alyssa was a, a math teacher at the high school and coached girls basketball. Uh, she spent 15 years in the classroom. Uh, 
she started out at Berkeley uh, team teaching with Mr. Early, and then she moved over to the high school to teach math. Uh, she, she put in 21 years of coaching uh, in our school corporation. Uh, when asked, uh, as you look back on your career, what aspects have been the most rewarding? She talks about the kids and the success uh, has been rewarding, and that does not come, in, come unless you build relationships with kids. So over the years, she said that the relationships, uh, that was the most rewarding uh, because that comes first and then the success follows. Asking what uh, she'd miss most upon uh, leaving uh, the students and staff that she's worked with over the 21 years. And then her future plans is she, uh, she'd like to, she plans on traveling with her husband and just the girls uh, more and be nothing but a mom and wife to, to her family. Uh, she said, I've realized life is just too short, so I plan to enjoy it while I can. So we really appreciate uh, all the time and dedication. As you guys know, the, the amount, of, amount of time she spent with our kids, just outstanding influence and will be, will be very difficult to, uh, to replace. Uh, moving on to our third uh, point here uh, with our donors. They are not here this evening, but uh, Cargill has donated uh, $5,000 to our bus camera project, and Valley Connects, uh, Mrs. Wilkes is here. She can talk about um, the grant from the Indiana Suicide Prevention Coalition. Sure. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about Valley Connects, what that is, too. Um, about five years ago, Mr. Bob started the um, group uh, Mental Health Task Force, when we had a lot of the suicides in our district. and. So we wanted to promote you know, mental health for our school corporation and things. And when he retired, um, myself and Dan James, our mental health therapist that we had, who just is recently moving, which is really sad, but he won't be here next year. But anyways, and um, th we took over, and um, we wanted to kind of streamline it more to community versus just the school. So we've been doing a lot with getting um, partnerships with Bowen and Fort County to be part of the group, and then we renamed it Valley <coughs> Connects, just as it was more of a, oh, uh, just a name that kind of flowed a little bit differently. It wasn't, um, you know, mental health tax force is really heavy. So we wanted it to just be a little bit different and just understand that it's about connection with the Valley community and then the mental health piece um, supporting that too. So um, Dan was part of the Indiana Suicide Prevention Coalition and then so Valley Connects just kind of morphed into that as well. So now we are part of a coalition that promotes suicide awareness in the state of Indiana too. So there was some money that was released down at the DOE, or not the DOE, sorry, the Indiana Prevention Coalition, um, and that was giving to coalitions in the whole state of Indiana. So we applied for some money and we got it. So it was really exciting. We're gonna use it a lot for promotional things to kind of get our name out there so people know who we are in our community but then we also want to bring some suicide prevention training for the community and the, the QPR is what we typically do in our school corporation for teachers so we want to do that in the community <coughs> for businesses so that's part of the money investment and then also just to bring speakers um, a speaker to the school corporation that just talks about resiliency resiliency goal making you know not necessarily suicide because um, you know it, we want it to be a positive experience for the kids and not always just harp on the suicide piece but like just how to be resilient how to make good goals how to make good choices and so we're looking at bringing a speaker into the school um, in September which is suicide prevention month so that's that's really what we're going to do with the money and I think there's still a lot more money to come um, we were just recently we did um, the egg festival in Mentone so we walked in the parade and uh, then we also had a booth, and at that booth we passed out information on suicide prevention, but also just generally mental health. And then we also had a station for kids to make stress balls, so that, you know, just promoting mental health. And we made about, about 55 stress balls with kids. They really liked it, it was fun. So we're also gonna do that again at the Akron Festival, the 4th of July Festival. So, you know, we'll be in the parade, and then we'll have a booth there on, the, on that 4th of July day. So we're just trying to get our name out there, what we can do for the community, really work with businesses to see what they need in their, um, you know, in their place about uh, mental health um, support, and because uh, it's just a big issue that we want to make sure that uh, we support our community on. Part of that is, you know, we, we're kind of in the middle of Kosciuszko County and Fulton County, so like there's a lot of support in Kosciuszko County for mental health, and they're also in Fulton County. But then I think our community gets lost a little bit, so. 
that was our thinking of bringing, and of course Mr. Box to bringing that to our community and focusing that we, we pull from resources from both places. I'm on the systems of care for Pasiasco <coughs> and for Fulton. So, you know, we're pulling from Bowen and Fort County. So we're just, we're just trying to make sure that our community has that support. So that's the speaker you plan on doing K through 12? Well, we're looking. Um, yeah, we have about, about three or $4,000 and doesn't go very far when you right. get like these speakers that come in. So um, we've got a couple people in mind. Hopefully it will do as many grade levels as we can. Otherwise, we'll kind of do some programming and things at that level during that suicide prevention month in September. So, yeah, thank you. So, if you want to let me know, don't leave me more about it, just let me know. You know Megan, you, you talk about in your board report, oh. working with Bowen and Four County Counseling, yeah. our school corporation, Kosciuszko County Cares, the K-21 Foundation, local churches. And I just appreciate your leadership and bringing all those yeah. people to, to the table. Mm -hmm. and, it's just outstanding what the, the service that you're providing for our community. So thank you. Thank you. Sure. Good job. Okay. That is all for the spotlight. Yep. All right. We'll, we'll move on. Let's see. Items from the visitors. Is there anyone that would like to speak to the board this evening? It's a light crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to tell a joke? It's not raining, so I no. think, you know. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to move on to approval of the consent agenda. All right. Number one, approve the minutes of the May 16th, 2019 executive session. Number two, approve the minutes of the May 20th, 2019 regular meeting. Number three, approve the hiring of the following personnel. Margaret White, special education teacher at the middle school. Amy Luce, instructional assistant at the high school. Anna Yates, instructional assistant at the high school. Brittany Watson, special education teacher at the high school. Danielle Reinhold, physical education teacher at the middle school. Jen Schenk, summer speech language pathologist at the corporation. Jake Everett, assistant principal at the high school. Four, approve the following extracurricular assignments. Anna Durkis, fifth grade girls volleyball coach at Mentone Elementary. Ashley Durf, JV volleyball coach at the high school. Thad Malott, varsity assistant, girls basketball coach at the high school. Number five, accept the resignation of the following personnel. Ron Bruner, custodian at the high school. Chelsea Horban, instructional assistant, Akron Elementary. Soreda Yuzma Baca, instructional assistant, Akron Elementary. Kayla Landis, Cook, Minton Elementary. Mackenzie Murphy, instructional assistant, Akron Elementary. Lindsay Smith, instructional assistant at the high school. Jennifer Milmoff, instructional assistant at the high school. Aliyah Gearhart, instructional assistant at Mentone Elementary. Angela Strofe, instructional assistant at Burkett Educational Center. Rebecca Parker, physical education teacher at the middle school. Emma Coppice, special education teacher at the high school. And Daryl Shoemaker, varsity softball coach at the high school. Number six, accept the retirement of the following personnel. Myra Leon, head custodian at the high school. Number seven, accept the maternity leave request for the following personnel. Rachel Haney, kindergarten teacher at Mentone Elementary. Number eight, approve the 2019 summer school contracts. And number nine, approve the 2019-2020 classified and bus driver salaries. Number 10, approve food service vendors for 2019 and 2020. Do I hear a motion to approve the consent agenda as read? Mr. President, I'd like to abstain from number four on that lot. His wife and my wife are sisters, so I'd like to abstain from number four, please. Okay, well, we will pull that and we will vote separate on that. Thank you. Okay. Then, Adam, I'd like to pull number nine and put it on that separately. Okay, we can do that. All right, so do I hear a motion to approve the consent agenda as read? Minus four and minus nine. Okay, do I hear a second? Is there any further discussion on that? Ms. Red? All, right, all in favor, state by saying aye. 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 All opposed, state by saying no. All right, let's move to number four. Approval of the following extracurricular assignments. Do I hear a motion to approve? I'll make that motion. Do I hear a second? Okay. All in favor, state by saying aye. 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 All opposed, state by saying no. To abstain? Yes, sir. I abstain. Okay. Three and zero. All 
All right, we will move on to number nine, approve 2019-2020 classified and bus driver salaries. Do I hear a motion to approve? Mr. President, I, I propose to approve the uh, salaries as provided. All right, do I hear a second? All right, is there any further discussion? All right, all in favor, state by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, state by saying no. No. Three to one, motion carries. All right. We'll move on to approval of claims and payroll. We have one pre-written claim this evening dated May 31st, 2019, in the amount of $724,776.04. Our regular claim listing is dated June 17th, 2019, in the amount of $187,512.02. We have three payrolls this evening dated May 3rd, 2019, in the amount of $391,835.75. May 17, 2019, in the amount of $398,905.23. May 31, 2019, in the amount of $400,687.27. I submit these claims and payroll for your approval. All right, do I hear a motion to approve claims and payroll as read? <coughs> do I hear a second? All right, is there any further discussion on claims and payroll this evening? All, right. All in favor, state by saying aye. 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 All opposed, state by saying no. The motion carries. We move on to financial report. The school board's been provided the reconciled bank statement and monthly financial report of funds for the month of 2000 or May uh, 2019. In summary, our receipts and disbursements for May 2019 are total receipts for all funds, $1,718,534.66. Total disbursements for all funds, $2,027,175.88. That is a financial report. Thank you, Wayne. Move on to old business. Um, I had brought um, the, the lunch price increase in terms of the paid at lunch equity to you guys last uh, last month. We're looking at a 10 cent increase um, for each of the categories, K, K5 and then 612, also adult lunches, and then breakfast for grades K12 and adults. Um, any questions on that, on that information that was provided last month? Those. Do I hear a motion to approve the new lunch prices? I'll uh, make a motion to approve the new increase lunch prices. Do I hear a second? Second that. Thanks, Tom. All in favor, state by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, state by saying no. Motion carries. Move on to new business. Um, the, the new business would be the um, two donations that we received one from Cargill and then one for the Valley Connects. Just need a motion to approve and accept those donations. So we'll that motion. Happy to make Thank you. Wait <laughs> <laughs> a second. I'll second. All right. All in favor, state by saying aye. Uh, all opposed, state by saying no. All right. There we go. Do so, yeah. you have anything else to add? Well, short and sweet, we are adjourned. Thanks.